What's up, Illuminards? We are here with the one and only Jason Ibar. Jason, how you doing? I'm good. How are you, Jezzer? Good. It's been, we've known each other since, I think, 2014. Do you, do you, do you recall the first time, uh, what the first thing you said to me when you met me? I do not. <laughs> it was in Comic-Con, right outside the Power Rangers panel. I was sitting down. I was tired because I was wearing an Alfred costume. And you, oh, that's nice. <laughs> that was the first time I met you. And then... You I told must have me said something like you're, fr you're freaking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and then you showed me the van, yeah. you showed me the suits, and I think the first convention we did was in uh, Vegas. Oh, that's right. With Ernie Reyes Jr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it's such this 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 whole journey has been hu huge and I like know, a long right? journey. What's it like, you know, just reliving your childhood and you know being able to be like a connoisseur of all the '90s uh, nostalgia? First off, I want to say how lucky I am to even be able to do that. Um, <laughs> a lot of people can't, and so by me having this van, I, I, I built this thing, obviously, you know, because I, I love turtles and I love the 90s and I was a yeah. little kid. But just to see um, th this van bring back nostalgia for a lot of people and their kids, mm -hmm. it, it really means something more than for what I built it for. So mm -hmm. it really means something to me every time I see a smile or people taking pictures. Because yeah. it, it's giving them that couple of seconds of man and makes them remember it. It's a good feeling, you know. How much? How how uh, how far does this thing get around now? Are they still doing doing your your treks and from uh, county to county and stuff? Oh yeah. So um, this thing's actually going to Washington State SummerCon. Uh, there's a special guest. I don't know who it would be, but uh, you can only guess. So that's going to Washington in uh, June, and I believe it's going back to Texas. I think at the end of the year, but I'm I'm still working on that. Can you uh, tell me how you got involved with the whole, I mean, I know, but like the whole Ninja Turtle world, Vanilla Ice, and, well, and, and this whole thing, this the whole van, the whole, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, the costumes and everything. So uh, my dream was to have a Ninja Turtle van, right? So boom. Boom. I had, I had a little bit of money. I couldn't build it myself, so I, I had a team of people doing different things. And by Halloween 2011, I had a Ninja Turtle van. So then I started driving around. And I wanted to have a costume in, in the passenger seat. And it was hard to find. Just to, You could only find like store-bought ones, right? Yeah, yeah. And I didn't want that in my, and they're in my not, car. And they're not great. Yeah. They're not great. And so I had the car for about a couple months, maybe almost a year. And uh, somebody made their own costume, legit. And he was at a Comic-Con that I just happened to not be at. And I had all my friends, you might have been one of them, uh, messaging me that day like, hey, this dude has a legit Raphael suit. Why don't you have it? And so I Facebook stalked this guy, right? <laughs> this guy, and uh, within a week I found him, and I messaged him. I go, hey, you make suits? He's like, no. And I go, all right. Well, how much do you want to make me a suit? And he told me, and I go, all right. I'll PayPal you half now, and you give me the suit whenever. He's like, okay, I'll give it to you in two weeks. Mm -hmm. So that's how Michelangelo was born. Michelangelo became my uh, sidekick in the passenger seat. I went to go put gas one day. And a woman's like, oh my God, do you do birthday parties? And I was like, yeah, even though I didn't. Uh, so that started the birthday party craze because I was the only one that had this suit besides this other guy. Um, so then I started doing birthday parties for like the next like four or five years. But from doing those parties, uh, I, I set up an, an Instagram and a, and a web page for the van and for the turtles. And uh, at some point, I think within six months of that day, I had to have all four turtles because then people were requesting all four turtles for the parties. So I did that. And then uh, this guy, Jared Wines out of Texas, uh, he was having, a, I believe, a 30th birthday party in uh, Dallas. And he already had vanilla ice secured. He had the venue secured and he did a GoFundMe type of a thing. And he raised enough money to basically do the first I Love the 90s tour. So he had like Tone Loke and Kid and Play and Shock G and, and all those other people that were definitive for the 90s. It was like the biggest show ever in Dallas, right? And so he brought the van and the turtles to perform with Vanilla. And that was the first time I had met him. And then I got the information from the manager and basically the next year and a half, I was emailing the manager every time they came to town, like, can I can I come and perform? He's like, yeah, Rob, Rob really likes you. And then after that, that year and a half, I became part of the crew and then I became his friend. I started working on the Vanilla Ice Project. I think it was season seven. 
and then uh, yeah, it's, man, been, it's been crazy, I man. Met, I met you before that, so it's it's been it's been crazy. This whole this whole world's been crazy. But what some fans might not know, you also played Babu for a certain time on Power Rangers as well. How was that? How was how is it working on the Power Rangers series, knowing that's been going for 30 years and like still going strong? Man, it was so fun. I mean, first off, I was watching the show before I got on it. Right, I graduated high school. People make fun of me because I was watching the show, whatever. And then I just happened to get this this role. Like I was the second Babu, so I'll, I'll put that out there, right? There was somebody before me, and uh, it started as I was an extra. I was part of the Juice Club and hanging out at the park, watching uh, Johnny Young Bosch over there and Steve Cardenas and Karen Ashley doing their thing. And then one day uh, they said, "Hey, can you can you be in this suit? You look skinny enough." And I'm like, "All right." And that's what it was. Like they, You're the Red Ranger, right? For a t for a little bit, I did that um, the, as a as like a photo double stuff in the suit, you know. Um, but what it was is that I was thin. I was thin back then, and every, all the background were like big yeah. wrestler-looking dudes, yeah. and the girls, right? The girls were like tiny. Yeah. Tiny. So I was the only one that just, fit in this just suit. The right, just the right size. Just like Robocop, Peter Weller. It was a Peter Weller syndrome. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, that's how he got Robocop. But anyway, yeah. So it was that, and I, I was Babu for a little bit. And it was just a good 10 years. I think I was 10 years I was on that show. Yeah. Up until Wild Force, right? Yeah, yeah so yeah. Up until they moved. Yeah, up yeah. until they moved, yeah. Now, uh, Ninja Turtles is getting a, another reboot uh, with, I think it's being helmed by Seth, Seth Rogen. What are your hopes for that new franchise? Oh, I'm sure my hopes are just like uh, all the nostalgic ones, is that it's kind of like the old school one. But I do realize that there needs to be change. Um, not the change that... Bay did, but you know I, I realized it, wasn't it, that bad. it was bad. It, <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> okay, I think uh, that you went to the premiere of one I of did. them. Uh, they hired uh, Vanilla Ice to sing at the second um, Out of the Shadows premiere at the Madison Square Garden, and all all the whole crew. I wish you were there, man. I think you were busy that day. You yeah. couldn't come. It was it was it was crazy. It's crazy seeing it happen. You know, I was like yeah, man. everything everything about the ride is fast. Like nothing's really planned. Mm -hmm. And it's just like go go go, and it's something that I wouldn't change. Never. I would not change anything for what I've done, you know. Well, thank you so much for your time, and thank you for, you know, for all the people that love these franchises. Thank you for keeping the hey. the memory and the you know the energy alive. I'm glad I'm able to make somebody smile. You know, <laughs> that's all I want, you know. All right. Well, you guys just uh, come check us out. I hope you guys like and subscribe to keep up to date with everything trending in geek pop culture.